The Fro Pullover and Polar Tech Win Pro Hard Face. What's old is new again. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Mission Workshop Reviews where I buy and test all the gear so you don't have to. And today I'm going to be reviewing a classic Mission Workshop piece, the Faro Pullover, in a state of the art material Polar Tex WinPro hard face fleece. Now, this piece isn't particularly new. The WinPro has been out on the website for some time, but I've been holding off on doing a video review on the Fero Win Pro because I just didn't know exactly when to talk about it. But with the release of last week's Step Hoodie in Win Pro, I thought now is the time to have a discussion about Win Pro and of course this amazing piece. So first about the piece, this comes in at $195. It's only $6 more than the Merino version of the Fero. Uh, it has a nice hood. There's no drawstrings, but I find the hood fits me great even while riding. Not the most snug, um, so you could put this over a helmet, um, but it's not like too loose either where if you just wore it as is, it won't blow off while you're riding it stays on pretty good which 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 is nice you can't always say that about some of the 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 the, the hoods without drawstrings the material itself is absolutely amazing um when pro comes in a couple different cuts actually or a couple different mm, thicknesses this is by far the thickest piece that i have uh in win pro this is four-way stretch it is naturally wind and water resistant because of the way the material is designed and just stitched or, or woven so closely. Um, and it also is naturally uh, insulating. So here you have basically a super fleece, okay? Um, it, it combines the properties of merino wool's insulation with water resistancy without needing DWR. So the water resistancy will never fade away plus wind resistancy um, without having the crunchy tech feel of a shell. So it really does very well in those three categories. It's not excellent in either. Uh, it's not the warmest piece. It's not waterproof and it's not windproof, but th that would be a fundamentally different piece and much more expensive. For example, the right parka is waterproof, windproof, and super warm, but that's almost an $800 parka. It's much bigger. So, you know, again, for $195, you're getting pretty warm, pretty water resistant, and pretty wind resistant, and it's easy care. Just throw this in the wash. I hang dry it. Um, I, I really can't say more about this piece. And like I said, the four-way stretch, it it it's just fantastic. Um, and if you look uh, on, the on the inside of this, okay, that's fleece. It, it's really, it's soft and warm. The outside kind of has like a, a, uh, a graph-like uh, squared pattern, um, very faint, but gives the, the material an appearance of some, some texture. But uh, I want to talk about WinPro, and I kind of also want to talk about Mission Workshop's latest piece, the WinPro Step. So first of all, WinPro comes in a couple different thicknesses. Um, this is a thin thickness. This is Mission Workshop's um, Strauss uh, insulated glove. I did a review on this independently. You could check it out here. Uh, this WinPro is thinner and a lot more flexible. I also did a review on the Women's Torre, or actually my girlfriend did a review on uh, the Women's Torre, and you could check that review out here. This is also in WinPro. Um, this is much thinner than this. This is a very thick piece. Um, but this is, this is an awesome piece. And I'm, I'm gonna get back to this in just a minute. Um, but from all the accounts I've heard about online on Mission Workshop subreddit, by the way, 
You should check out Mission Workshop subreddit on Reddit. Uh, I post under user North Easy. You can get a lot more of your Mission Workshop fix on that subreddit. Um, early reports of those who bought the new fl uh, Step Win Pro, and, and by the way, it, it's selling out fast, so um, act now if you want that, say that it's just as thick as this. But there was also some complaining, not complaining, I guess pining, wishing that Mission Workshop would make a men's Torre in WinPro. Now, because this is Mission Workshop Reviews and I pretty much buy and test all the gear, I actually have a really rare piece. No, it's not a men's Torre in WinPro, but it is a men's Torre. Um, this came out, I don't know, 2012, something like that. This is in Merino. Um, this is an awesome hoodie. It's some old style designs, um, but some real classic stuff. And what a lot of people really like about this Torre is it has full neck coverage. Something that the step and, and even the Ferro doesn't have. Um, it has pockets, something that the step and the Ferro don't really have. Although there is a back, um, touring pocket and, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, but the Tory has hand warmers and the female, the, or the woman's Wind Pro Tory even has thumb loops, which are fantastic. So I'm going to take this time in case Mission Workshop is watching and I'm going to speak on behalf of probably everyone on the Mission Workshop subreddit. And I know a lot of my subscribers and viewers, Mission Workshop, you have the blueprint for a men's Tory. You have... The Polar Tech Win Pro Fleece. You've even made a female Torre in Win Pro. Please, please, for the fandom, make a men's Torre in Win Pro. It will sell out in a day. I can pretty much guarantee that. That's my message. Now, let's go take a look at the Ferro and some fit picks. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Again, this is Mission Workshop's Ferro in WinPro. It comes in at 195 and I love this piece. It is so cozy. If you're thinking about getting the step in WinPro, it's just a couple bucks more and you get a full zip. So whether you want to pull over or zip up, you really have a lot of options for your WinPro needs. This is such a fantastic fabric. And again, hey, Mission Workshop, if you could consider making a men's Torre in WinPro, I think many, many, many people would be very, very happy. All right, everyone, thank you for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed, and I know a lot of people that watch haven't subscribed, please give this community a subscription. It helps us so much on YouTube. Check out my other videos and drop a comment below. I try to get back to every single commenter. See you guys soon.